Welcome back. In this video, we will be exploring the process of creating a website page using the ChatGPT tool. Get ready to dive into the exciting world of AI-powered web development. This portfolio page you are seeing, is created with React, Tailwind and ChatGPT. We'll be using the ChatGPT tool to help us create this website from scratch. So let's get started. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates and new videos. I appreciate your support. Head over to ChatGPT website. We are going to give a few prompts to start helping us create this portfolio website. We're going to ask ChatGPT to create a page in React and Tailwind CSS with the following items. Three large menu items that are vertically centered on the left. Have the menu items titled about, work and contact. Make the background black and dark purple gradient with white text with an opacity of 0.5. Have the opacity to 1 whenever you hover over the menu items. Let us click submit and wait for chat GPT to respond. This may take some time as the site is congested with so many requests. It noted us to have Tailwind CSS set up in our project. So make sure to have React and Tailwind all set up before you begin. Copy the chat GPT code, create a file under the source directory and name it homepage.js. Paste the chat GPT code here. Make sure to rename the object to homepage. In the index.js file, import the homepage component we just created. Let's run it. You can see the three menu items labeled on the left. It also has the hover effects that we asked for. Let's modify the CSS a bit. We don't want the menu item to be centered. Let's have it as flex item start and a little bit of margin left. Now, let us increase the font size to 8xl. That is like 96 pixels. Make the text all uppercased. and fonts are all bolded. Let's fix the background. We will remove the black background and the gradient. The gradient isn't working. Let's add our own. We're going to add a black to the purple gradient. Now the background gradient should be working. Now, let us add a custom font from Google Fonts. Please navigate to the website and search for Fredoka1 font or whatever you prefer. Select the font. Now, click import and copy the code. Open the index.css file and paste the code in there. Just remove the style tags. Now, copy the code for CSS rules to specify families. In the index CSS, create an ID named root, and paste the code in there. Remove the font bold. The import font is already bolded. Let's change the text color to a light purple. Also, add some letter spacing using the tracking class. Let's add a hover, and change the text color to a brighter purple. That looks a lot better now. Let's copy the homepage JS file codes. We're going to ask ChatGPT to modify it. We're going to ask ChatGPT to update this existing code, to add an easing effect on the hover state. Let's copy the code and paste it back into the homepage JS file. Now you should see an easing effect applied on hover. Let us copy the code again. This time we're going to ask ChatGPT to add the following. 
a red dot following the mouse with an easing effect. The red dot will get enlarged with easing when hovered over the menu item. The large red dot will show a little more description of the menu item. Sometimes chat GTP won't finish the code, just remind it to finish it. Now, copy and paste the code back into the homepage JS file. Now you will see a red dot following the mouse. It's not exactly functioning as we want but we'll fix it. Same for the hover state. The red dot needs to be enlarged on hover. First, let us make the initial state and enlarge state size of the dot a little bigger. We're going to change the easing in and out, to just easing out. Now the easing works a lot smoother. But we'll still need to fix the hover state. Let's update the hover state size of the dot to 200. That looks about right. Let's remove this part of the code. This is the floating hover box. For the red dot, let's add white text and flex vertically and horizontally centered. There you go. This looks a lot better. Let us update these menu item descriptions. Also, let's increase the font size of the red dot to XL. May need to increase a little more. Let's try 4XL. That looks a lot better, but we need to increase the red circle a little more. Let's try 250. That should do the trick. Right here, I added a little more padding for the larger circle when it's hovering. And also added some transition and delay when the text appears in the circle. Everything should look and function the way we wanted by now. Finally, let's add some images on the right. It will change on the hover state for each menu item. We will need to create an image object like this and fill it with the label and the image name. Also, we need to create a fixed div to hold the images. The background image will have an initial image and will change on hover. We will add ease out transition as well. We will need to create a new image folder in the public folder, and put all the images we're going to be using there. There you go, and you can see that the image effect works perfectly. It changes on the hover for each menu item. It is also set to default when the menu item does not hover. Just notice that the red circle that follows the mouse goes under the image. We will need to fix that. Let's move this part of the code and place it at the bottom of the main div. Now, the red dot should be hovering over the image when following the mouse. Here is the final piece. 
This is just the main page, but there's plenty of room to add additional pages, and use the menu items to navigate between them. You can use ChatGPT as your trusty helper to create a pre-made template for those pages, making your web development and coding journey much more efficient. ChatGPT is an exceptional tool that can greatly enhance your productivity and streamline your work.